Oh, that's my boots on, damn it. On this episode of $20 Chef, Matt wanted to make some shrimp and grits, so we're gonna make some shrimp and grits with Matt Mitrion. I don't make basic stuff. I never do basic. So we're gonna get a little, get a little crazy, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I never make grits, so this is gonna be good. I always think about that scene from, uh, gr from uh, my cousin Vinny, like, what's a, what's a grit? What is a grit anyways? It's made out of corn. Them hominy grits. Hominy? So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's hope Whole Foods has grits. So all them shrimp. You wanna go big ass ones? We can get big ones if you want. We can get those. I think those would make them look yeah, better yeah, on camera. Yeah. How's it going, sir? I got a couple pounds of this right here. Two. You say 12. Right, so we gotta pick up some bacon. Uh -huh. We got the shrimp here. We gotta get some, some grits. Gouda, some cream cheese. They got this uh, brown rice cereal here, and we could do that if you want. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna play on the fly. Let's go. This guy can't be too off from that, right? We'll figure it out. We'll just make it a little thicker. Now what we got? The cheese. Cream cheese. Yeah, um. Smoked we have gouda. gouda. Smoked gouda. Smoked gouda? Boom. Boom. Gotta love a nice smoked gouda. Oh, we gotta get bacon. I'll try to get bacon up there. Grab that? Go with that, yeah. All right, we're done. Ooh, that's a big ass shrimp. This is a nice little 12 15 count. You know what I'm saying? And this that's is nice. good old USA shrimp. This ain't no Thailand shrimp. Hey, first of all, Thailand shrimp is a lot of fun. I'm not hating on it, but this look how, look how these American shrimp make it nice and easy big, for us to peel. Big, dog. Big ass shrimp. Big scrimps around this joint. Anyways, all right, you guys already know we're at the grocery store. I got my man Matt Mitrion. We're in the kitchen now. We're going shrimp and grits. We couldn't find grits in New York City. We only went to one store, but we didn't really have time to be fucking around 19 grocery stores. So we found us a little supplement, you know? It's not going to be as gritty as a grit, but we got us some creamy wheat hot cereal. We're going to mix that in with some cream cheese, some other shit. It's his episode. He's going to run the show. So Matt, what do you got for us? All right, so we got shrimp and grits. We're going to dice some onions. We're going to cook up some bacon. We're gonna um, saute the onions. We got smoked gouda, we got some cream cheese. We're, we're gonna get weird today. And we forgot to get milk. So instead of getting milk or um, like a thick cream, we're gonna use some uh, some Greek yogurt instead. All right, so now we got these here. Everything looks good to me. We got, we're using red onion, we're using white onion. We already peeled the shrimp. Uh, we got easy peel and then we cut up the tail ends off because we wanna get rid of that digestive tract, the funk. We're gonna take this bacon, we're gonna slice that up too. And this is really good looking bacon too, man. I'm actually really, really impressed with it, with the find you came up with. Bacon's one of those things you don't want to half step on. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I agree to that. Got a little shallots here. Let me cut these shallots up. Dude, please, throw them in there. Let's, hey, let's make this trash can grits, okay? Let's, right. whatever we got that, you know, we're not sure what we're going to do with, let's get weird, baby. That's the best part about cooking with friends. Nobody's going to judge you. Nope. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this, this bacon. But see, the bacon was all stacked up. So I just have to separate the bacon here and throw it in individually. Uh, so that way I know it cooks up and I'm looking for the fat out of this mostly. I'm really actually, I'm happy with the amount of fat on here because I want to try to get the grease out so that way I can cook the onions down into it. And then I'll throw the meatier parts in there in a little bit, but I really want to get, make sure I get all the fat out. I'll sample the Gouda. Hey, you do what you got to do, son. You ever had your junk put on the internet by, by a girlfriend or something? No, sir. That's why I don't send dick pics. And I got actually a whole folder of fake dicks that aren't my dick in my phone. Yeah. So that if anybody wants a dick pic from me, I send them random dicks. Yeah. And then if we ever end up being something, then I would, they would I'd be like, well, this is my real dick. This is the one I sent you because I wouldn't send my real dick anywhere. This is my real ding ling right here. <laughs> my nuts are all over the internet. I mean, balls are funny. Dicks are creepy. You just got to keep your fucking head on a swivel. Yeah? None of that's true, by the way. You want to unroll that, uh, that good, I mean, that uh, cream cheese? Yep. He can't open cream cheese. He has a problem with cream cheese. We're going to throw it in that other pot. You want me to turn this other one on? Uh, not just yet. We, yeah, we can start throwing in the uh, the chicken broth. Okay. Let's get the stock going in here. Let's get it. Just want a little bit of a heavy texture. Did you shake that up? I did yeah. now. There you go. Look at that shake game. Look at that shake game. It's different than everybody else's shake game. I'll tell you that much. Jonathan, you need ready to, to strain that out? You ready? Yep. You know, it, it, it makes me happy that your your name is misspelled in my phone. I, I call you S E A N. You know that, right? And yeah, I, you're a real I text piece of you, shit for that. I text you on purpose, Sean. At times, just for the fun of it. So it makes me really happy to do that, just to let you know it a lot. that your mother spelled your name wrong when you were born. Hey, it's weird. There's man. a difference between Sean and Scene, okay? Here we go. We got garlic, uh, green, uh, red onion, and some shallots here. Sean, break out those peppers in there too. We'll throw okay. these joints in there. We're gonna right. fry them up in that bacon grease. You know it. That sounds good. As, that sounds like oh, I need my life right now. All right, so I'm gonna throw these in here. I'm not gonna throw everything in there yet because I'm gonna. The shallots are real tender, and so is the garlic. So I'm gonna let these things cook down first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other, the delicates in there. Jonathan? Coming in hot with the peppers. Yeah, let's get those peppers out here. Now, now, I mean, as being a dad, 
isn't it really fun? I mean, just cooking with your family, is, it's, it makes it like an event, right? Dude, it's a great, great time. Actually, that's one of the things that we really do a lot together is that we cook a lot. I make them come upstairs. Uh, they're downstairs like playing or whatever. I'll make them come upstairs, smell it, uh, tell me which one they want me to use, why they want me to use it, what's gonna taste like, uh, everything else. I, I make them study with me. And uh, they get frustrated at the times they wanna keep playing, but I want them to learn and develop palettes. So all right, here we go. Some Christmas colors, throw it in there. All right, so now we got, we got Christmas colors. We got a stoplight in here. We got some onions, red onions, white onions. We're cooking it out great. Looks really good. All right, we have enough in there. Now we can go ahead and throw in the uh, shallots and the, and the garlic. Shallots here, booyah. Garlic, booyah. Look at that, look at that little hodgepodge oh. of flavor right there, son. Big fan of just cooking it all in the bacon grease. That flavor is just gonna be drenched throughout. Yeah, it's not healthy for at all. I mean, by any way, shape, or form. Yeah, but, don't you matter. know what? I mean, it's sexy though. Look, man, I'm not, I'm not here to be healthy. I'm here to taste good. Let's throw some of this- uh, Yogurt? Some of, some of that yogurt in there. How much is you want to put in? Um, yep, it's about right. Like, How much of this you want me to put in? Um, we can put in half to three quarters, half to two thirds, something like that. Hey, Jake, hit that ladder cam. Come take a picture here. Boom, going in with the cream cheese. Boom. All right, so good part is it's gonna be nice, creamy, thick, great. Just like my date the other night. Woo! Oh, I mean, Take a little bit of pepper here, a little something, a little, little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of pepper. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, a little something, sprinkle a little something in there. A little weirdness. You want some salt in there too or no? Sure. Let's throw some salt in here. It's your world. Let's go. Here. Look at this, get a nice little stir going here. Yeah. Whisk it up, we'll get real whiskey around here. It's whiskey business. Looks really good. That's a great looking, we're gonna have a good looking room here in a minute. You see the way these things are cooking down, son? Yep, I sure do. I'm talking about this? top notch translucency. I mean, look at that translucency right there. Look at the translucent. Look how, That's some translucent ass shit. I mean, look at that. I'm talking that mad is, translucent. Hey, you know what that is? That's a pot full of flavor right there. Yeah, it is. That's what that is. So this is, the kind of, this is kind of the tricky spot, right? I say we do a cup and a quarter to a cup and a third, maybe up to a cup and a half of this. Remember, we're modifying, right? We're kind of yeah. flying off cuff because they didn't have grits. So I think we're kind of doing a little something, but these are gonna cook really fast. So let's let that kind of steep in some flavor, and we're gonna build it up here. Watch out, coming hot. Oh, I'm gonna work on this. Here, do it. Do that, get nice and creamy. That Any cream cheese. Any parts in there? Nope. Looks good. You ready for the, for the go? I think so. All right, here we go. Coming in hot, we got cream of wheat instead of grits, but it's, it's like, like Sean said, it's the remix on it. Yep. So here we got, we're gonna do a cup and a half-ish. Cup and a third, looks about right. Somewhere around there. Something. Now we're gonna mix these in here. And like I said, this is an experiment, baby. We're just over here just. This is also ironically how you make cocaine. <laughs> Crack rock cocaine. That's right. We're actually going for the good good. And you let's wasn't. take this here and let's throw some seasoning on these scrimps before we throw them in a pot. Nice little blackened seasoning. I'm gonna throw that in here. Look, all the see all the, the shrimps are covered up. Here we go. Oh, this is getting real nice. With a big ass shrimp. A cup and a half was real perfect to go with this whole box of chicken stock. Oh, I want, I, this is coming together nice. How you feeling about this? I'm feeling really good. A little shrimp and grits. All right, pull it up now. Let's get a little let's catch a flavor on that. It's smooth for sure. Do we need to add anything? Actually, I think it's rich enough. I don't really think it needs much. You're gonna no. try it out and get, get weird on it. It's smooth though. It's just it's a different consistency, different texture. But I do that, but you do feel the same flavors. Uh-huh. Of a grit. Of a grit. All right, so we just put some butter in there, just kind of loosen up the pan a little bit. Get a little seasoning on there. Woo! Turn it over. We got these on low. Shrimp are cooking nice, butter flying out. What about this Gouda? Did you already throw it in here? All in there. You want to put the rest of it in here? <coughs> Might as well, or you can eat it, one or two. Hey, shrimps are done. Dang, that looks so good, brother. We really killed it today. All right, I'll get a plate for you to put that on. Our grit remix is done. Now you want to throw those, you want to put these in here? Yeah, dump that in there. Look at that, right in. Now we can throw that bacon in, or you can use it as an additive, one of the two. Let's use bacon for garnish today. Okay, let's do it. Look at that. Just, okay. That looks, I mean, I'm pumped. Now, see, look, now everything's got a little bit of vegetables in it, a little more flavor, add some the richness to it. That's gonna be some serious flavor right there. How good that looks, huh? All right. Let me mix it, let me, let me mix that feel good about myself. <coughs> yeah, get in there. Sean, that looks fantastic, buddy. We just did real work on there. I feel like we're balls deep somewhere in Louisiana. You said balls deep. You gotta go balls out, yeah, son. Yeah, balls out, Louisiana. That's how it goes. How we serving it up? I said we slop the uh, grits on. Yep. And in here with the grits. Grit remix. Look at that. It's got a little mashed potato feel, but it's just a good grit. It's a good grit remix. We're gonna take this here. A little, a little crunchy bacon here. We'll go over the top. Yup. Sean, do what you gotta do. Look at this, the shrimp's just coming in hot. Big ass fat, good shrimp. You know, not fucking around today. Ooh. 
You know what's gonna be the best part of that? The juice that's left in there. Oh, poured it right on oh, top. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh man. <laughs> well, a little bit more bacon because you can never have enough bacon. You know what I mean? That's this episode of $20 Chef. Thanks to my man, Matt Mitrione, for coming in here, taking time out of his busy ass schedule of fucking dudes up. Coming in and making a little meal for us, you know what I mean? Hey, Tell you, boys. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Mmm. Not for real. It was for real. Oh.